What's going on guys, JDYGO, and today we are here with a new deck profile that I've been just playing with. I love this deck, I've been just kind of goofing off with it, and the more I played with it, the more I realized the deck is actually super, super good. It's just super fun, like I just love how this deck plays, I love the fact that you're just sitting on towers, and you know what sit on towers? Birds. We are here with Raid Raptors today, if you guys couldn't tell by the title, but I've been playing with this deck a little bit. It's been super, super fun. I love the fact that Tribute Lanius is a one-card combo, which I will show you guys at the end of the video here. But the deck is strong, it's super resilient, pretty consistent as well. It's just a fun deck, like, you're making two towers almost three half the time. They're not going to be able to play, they're not going to have any cards, so what are they going to do? They're going to take a thousand damage, and then you're going to burn them and then kill them. It's a great, great deck. But... Yeah, let's jump into the profile. But before we jump into the profile, guys, make sure you guys leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're doing super great this year. I love that you guys are loving the Road to Mastery series. Road Raptors should be on the next episode here. But yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into the deck profile. So to start things off, we're of course playing three Tribute Lanius. This is the main starter of the deck, the one card combo I'm going to show you guys. But during the turn it's normal or special summon, you get to send a Raid Raptor card from your deck to the graveyard. So normally you send Mimicry, but you can also send Fuzzy, you can send the Trap as well, just to get some bodies to your hand or just to be able to extend further. But yeah, that's the main one there. Next up we're of course playing three Raider's Wing. This is a really great card also. It's a free extender from hand or grave of a dark XYZ. You just detach the material to summon it. But the XYZ monster you make with it becomes non-targetable. So you're able to play through Valor and Imperm, which are pretty important in this format. So having a non-targetable monster lets you rank up really quick and just have monsters that they're not going to be able to touch. Next up, a new support card. We're playing three Bloom Vulture. This card is actually nutty. So the fact is, if you control no monsters or only winged beast monsters, you can use the hand effect to special itself and another Raid Raptor from your hand. And then it's got a graveyard effect too, but you can't activate it the same turn as the other effect. If you control no monsters, Bloom Vulture can revive itself and another level four or lower Raid Raptor monster, get them back in the field in defense position, and you just have a restart in your combo. So it's insane. Um, next after that we're playing three strangle lanius. This card is just insanely broken also like all the raid raptor cards are just so good But strangle lanius if you control a dark monster you get the special from your hand And then if you control an xyz with the dark xyz monster as material You get the target level 4 lower raid raptor in your graveyard and revive it But its effects are negated, but it doesn't matter you get another body on field super free and it's just it's just strong You know, it's just great Next up, my favorite extender, because I like the name, we have three Fuzzy Lanius. Now, this one does lock you into Raid Raptors, but again, that's not going to matter with this build, because primarily, we only played Raid Raptors. Um, so I'll show you guys the extra deck, of course, but the Raid Raptors is, the Raid Raptor lock is not going to matter at all. But, so if Fuzzy Lanius is sent to the graveyard, you get to add another copy of itself to the hand. So if your opening hand is a little awkward, like you open Tribute Lanius and the Mimicry, you can just go Tribute Lanius, send Fuzzy, Fuzzy then adds another copy of itself, Fuzzy affects the special itself, and you have combo anyway. So it's not bad, it is like a really solid combo if you need to do it, but the fact that Fuzzy can recur itself to get you another copy and just extend for free, it's great. So next up we're on to the one ofs. We're still playing the one singing Lanius. I know a lot of folks aren't currently playing it in their builds, I've been watching some other videos, but I like the fact that if I have another burden hand, I can special it and just get another body, so I'm still playing Singing Lanius. I know a lot of folks probably are like, that's not good, that's not a good idea. I like it. If you guys don't like it, don't play it, that's all. So next up, I'm playing one Noir Lanius. I'm not too big on this card, but I like the fact that if I need to, I can normal summon itself and then add Pain Lanius off its effect. Other than that, it's not too big, so that's why it's at one, but I don't know, maybe it'd be up to two if there's another Raid Raptor card I need, but again, I like it as it is. Next up, the one Mimicry. I really wanted to play this at two, but I've just seen it better at one. Like, I don't really want to open it, so as long as I can get to the grave and I can recycle it with Roost, uh, it's fine. And then lastly, we're playing one Pain Lanius. I just like being able to make the extension and make the rank four if I need to, but I do side it out, so it's not, like, the most important card, but again, I like having the security and the consistency if I need to make the rank four. And then next up, the Honorary Raid Raptor Monster. We're playing three Samorg. This card is so cool, mainly because if you get a Winged Beast on field, it's a free extension, so it normals itself out and you just have another rank 4 play so it's great but that is it for the monsters here let's move on to the spells for the spells we're playing three swallows calorie this card is just great being able to do this in draw phase and add you tribute lanius or if you have like fuzzy in hand tribute the fuzzy get tribute lanius then fuzzy adds itself back so you never even lose a card um you can also send mimicry if you open it but again like it's just able to add a, like a level 4 wing beast it's great Next up, we're playing the rank up spells. We're playing rank up magic skip force. So this is what you get into arsenal. Next up, of course, we're playing the new one, the rise rank up raid raptors force. So this gets into rising rebellion. It's a pretty good card. I mean, you just have to do the math. And a lot of folks need to make sure they don't like clog up their zones and try to activate this because it doesn't overlay over the old birds. You actually need a new spot because you special summon one from the extra deck to a new zone. 
So if you're having like your full like main monster zones filled with like birds and XYZs, it's not gonna work. You need to leave a spot for this to go through. And the next one, a lot of folks aren't even playing it because, you know, it's not needed, but I like doing it because it's part of my one card combo. I am playing Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Force. I do set it off the Y Strix on their turn, but it's activatable, so I'm able to go into Satellite, which, again, I'll show you guys towards the end. And the last spell card, we are playing one Raid Raptor's Roost, so it's really nice because if you have full combo, no interruptions, whatever, Mimicry can banish to get this, activate that, and that gets you this trap here, which is a awesome Omni Negate if you control the XYZ. If not, if you control just like a Raid Raptor monster, it's still a monster negate, so it's pretty good. Like, it just works out super well. But that is it for the uh, spell and the trap card there. We'll move on to hand traps next. For the hand traps, I'm still playing 3 Ash Blossom. I feel like it's still good this format. Like, I know Snake Eyes can take the fire and play through it, but who cares? I want to be able to stop Branded Fusion or other decks that need that search, so Ash Blossom stays in. Next up, we're on 3 Effect Veiler, of course. I just, you know, Veiler's good, shuts out Snake Eyes pretty well if you hit their normal summon. You get the Flame Bird so they can't reset or anything like that, so it's not too bad. Next up, we're, of course, playing 3 Imperm. I know, another negation for Snake Eyes. Is anything that can be stopped with the effect right then and there. Of course, if you set it too, it's great, you knock out a column, but, you know, you guys know what Imperm is. And then for the last three cards, keep in mind I am playing 42 cards. I just prefer playing a deck with 42. I feel like it's more consistent. These three can be anything you want. If you just want it to be one card, sure, that's totally fine. Play 40. But for me, this is what it's going to be. I'm playing one Bistro Magnemont and two Druid Swarm. And my reasoning is there's a lot of voiceless going on in my locals, so I'd rather be able to snipe out their graveyards with the Bistuals, set up another big monster. If I need to be able to have a big body unveiled, it's great to have also. But again, they can be Nibirus, they can be Drolls, Mourners. If you want to cut it the 40, just put Called By, you know, anything like that. So again, this is my list, the way I like to play it. But if you guys like to change it the way you like, of course, feel free. I just want to show you guys what I'm building. That is it for the main deck there, 42 cards. Let's move on to the extra deck. Moving on to the extra deck, we're of course playing two of the new big birds in town, we're playing two Rising Rebellion Falcons. Card is insane, it's a complete board wipe for your opponent's field. You get the burn for the monsters you destroy too, so that's even better. But most of the time as well, it's going to be a 5300 because of the stuff under it, like you're going to be adding the rank 5 XYZ, the new one, and that way it gets to just gain all the attack off of it. It has another effect too that I actually don't really use, mainly because the game's already over when this hits the field for me. It gains the effect that once per turn you can detach three materials from the card, target Raid Raptor XYZ in your graveyard, and it gains that effect to the end phase. So if you need to, you can detach three and then activate four Strix's effect to add a card, but again, you technically don't need to unless it's like a super grindy game. That is it for those two there. Next up, we're still playing Ultimate Falcon, the original big boy there. Super easy to get out with the main combo I want to show you guys, so you're always going to end with this, and your opponent's going to be taking a thousand during the end phase. Next up, we are playing one Satellite Cannon Falcon. Get rid of your opponent's back row, they can't respond to it. Quick effect, your opponent's face-up monster loses a 800 attack for each Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard, so it's just nuts. Like, they're not going to be able to do too much when this hits the field also. And then the combo I want to show off later, you end with these three on field, and your opponent is not going to play through it, I promise you that. Next, we're playing the one Arsenal Falcon, of course. I thought about playing the two, but I just... It hasn't come up yet. I, I like the fact that, you know, you could run two if you wanted, but but uh, again, one is just fine right now. It's a crazy card if you guys don't know what it does. If you have a Raid Raptor material under it and when it leaves the field, you get the special summon a Raid Raptor from your extra deck for free. So this is what gets the Ultimate Falcon for free. For the next monster, a lot of folks aren't playing this at all, but I'm choosing to play it mainly because it's OTK potential. But again, you guys can choose what you want. It's your deck. I'm just showing you guys what I'm playing. I am playing one Revolution Falcon. It's just nice to get the OTK. Be able to attack all your opponent's monsters is really nice. Um, again, you don't have to play it. You can play anything else, but it's been able to steal games for me, so I'm going to keep it in, and yeah, it's just fun. Next, we're playing one Brave Strix. This is what gets an Arsenal Falcon, of course. This card is part of the new one. This is also the card that gives your Rebellion Falcon the 5300 attack, so that way they can't easily climb over it like they're planning to. That's all for that one. Next up, we're playing one Arc Rebellion XYZ, mainly because you do play two Raiders Knight in this build. Um, that way you go into Brave Strix with one, next follow up you can go to Arc Rebellion and just kill your opponent for extra damage. Next up we're playing two four Strix of course, um, I was gonna play three, but again I just never felt like I needed it. But you do use two during the combo, so maybe, maybe down the line I cut the revolution and play the third one, but we'll see from there. But again, everyone knows four Strix does, you make it with two level four monsters, you detach at a level four dark wing beast monster from deck to hand. That's what it does, and it's not a hard once per turn, even better. Next up, the one non-Raid Raptor XYZ in here. We're playing one Evil Swarm Nightmare just to book our opponent's monsters face down. Um, there's multiple combos. The main one I show you does lock you, but there's a variation of that same combo that doesn't. So if you can get the Evil Swarm Nightmare and you want to set it up, you can. 
And then for the last two cards, we're playing two Y Strix, of course. This is just what sets up the Rank Up spells for us. It sets up Rise Up, Rank Up Rebellion, and then it sets up the Phantom uh, Rank Up Magic Force also. But that is it for the extra deck there. Let's move on to the combo for you guys. Alright guys, so before we get into the combo, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're already super close to 1,300 subscribers, so if we can get the 1,500 soon, that'd be amazing. But as always guys, I greatly appreciate your support. You guys always coming back to check out my channel. But without further ado, let's get into the combo. So for the combo I want to show you guys, it's a one card combo of Tribute Lanius. It's just all it takes, but again, this is one card, so it's got to be zero interruptions or it doesn't really work. But still, I want to showcase it. So, you're going to normal summon Tribute Lanius, use the effect, we're going to send to the graveyard Mimicry. There it is. Send to the graveyard Mimicry, Mimicry effect, banish itself, you're going to add to your hand Fuzzy Lanius. Now, this combo does lock you into Raid Raptors, but I'll show you guys the next one that doesn't. So, Fuzzy effect in hand, special, of course Raid Raptor locked, but we're going to overlay straight into Raider's Knight, which is counted as a Raid Raptor, so if you make this play and they're like, oh you can't do that, you can. It says it on the card. But Use the effect of Raider's Knight, detach the Fuzzy, you're going to rank up into Brave Strix. In the Brave Strix, Fuzzy effect now, when it's sent to the graveyard, you're going to add a second copy of itself. So now you have another card in hand. Use Brave Strix effect, so as you control the Winged Beast material under it, you can detach the Tribute Lanius without any worries. You're still going to get the effect, you can add the Rank Up Magic Skip Force here. Go ahead and activate the Skip Force, you're going to rank the Brave Strix into your Arsenal Falcon. There we are. Use Arsenal Falcon's effect, detach the Raider's Knight, either one is fine. I'm going to summon out your Strangle Lanius here. Okay. And now with Strangle Lanius on field, because you control an XYZ monster with a dark XYZ material, you can use the effect to revive Fuzzy Lanius or Tribute Lanius. Like, many of those are fine. So now that Strangle Lanius has revived another body, you're going to use the Arsenal Falcon and either of those bodies there to link in the Y Strix. Now you're going to do a Y-Strix chain link 1, chain link 2 arsenal the chain block, and special from the extra deck using itself as material. And that's how you get to ultimate falcon. So technically you are nib proof, it's not the best, but you still have an ultimate falcon. But then you go Y-Strix to summon. This here you summon out Raider's Wing, that way you get targeting protection. A mandatory effect of Y-Strix by the way, so you have to activate this. Even if you don't have a target, it still activates. So you're going to set up your rank up spell. You're going to go ahead and set up the rebellion one, so the rise up rank one. And set it there. It is activatable this turn, but I choose not to activate it, mainly so I can get the full board wipe on my opponent's turn. Next up, we overlay. Overlay into your Force Strix. Force Strix effect, detach. Make sure you leave the Raider's Wing, that way you don't lose the targeting protection. But detach the Fuzzy or whatever you chose to revive off Strangle. And for this one, we go ahead and bring Bloom Vulture. And now that Bloom Vulture is in hand, because you added the Fuzzy off the combo there, you now have two birds. You can go Bloom Vulture effect, the special itself, and the Fuzzy. And you're going to actually overlay again into Force Strix. And why do we do that? Again, this is part of the combo. You're going to be ending with Satellite Cannon, your Rise Up Rebellion, and then your Ultimate Falcon for three towers, technically, and your opponent's going to have zero cards to really play through. But Force Strix effect, detach. This way you get follow-up. You can attach the Bloom Vulture there, because if they do manage to board wipe you, this can bring back two birds, including itself. So it'd be nice to get follow-up. And then the Raider's Wing, or the Force Strix, is going to be adding us a Tribute Lanius for the follow-up. So that is going to be what's there. And again, that was off one card. That was one card. We added so many. So Droll does hurt this a lot, but again, like, this is uninterrupted, right? But so that is your starter piece again. You have two Force Strips on field, Ultimate Falcon, Y Strix, and then your Rise Up Rank Up spell set. And then in your graveyard, you have two XYZ monsters and then four birds there. And the reason why that matters is because those four birds equal your Satellite Cannon, and the two XYZs in grave and one of the Force Strips on field equal your Rising Rebellion. So what you're going to do is you're going to pass to your opponent. They're going to start doing some stuff, maybe. You let them set up a kind of a board. You get to a part where they're like, oh, cool, they have some stuff in the back row. They got a few monsters on field. You're going to go ahead and activate the Rise Up Rank Up spell here. Target the Force Strix, either one, either one is fine, doesn't really matter here. But you're going to target, let's say this one, Force Strix, and then the Raider's Knight, and the Brave Strix and Grave. Make sure you have two extra spots clear, so don't go crazy and overflow the field. Have two extra clear spots there, because that's how you rank up. You're going to slap this here, slap these materials run on top, and you summon up Rising Rebellion Falcon there. That is going to be a full board wipe. Any monsters they have on field, they're going to take damage for. You're like, okay, cool. So, like, why? That's that's awesome, right? That's already a cool takedown. Also, end phase, ultimate falcon burns for a thousand. Forgot if they don't control monsters. But very cool. Like, what here? Force mandatory effect. 
because you activated Rising Rebellion's effect. You're going to set up another rank up spell. All right? So you're going to set up the Phantom's rank up magic force here. They Let's say they already wasted their normal and they're kind of out of specials. They just start setting two or three cards in the back row. That's not happening. You activate this. Banish these four. And you make satellite cannon. They can't respond to it either. You blow up their back row, and now they have absolutely nothing. Like if they literally had nothing else to do, their their entire board is completely clear. Like they didn't even try to play. You take another thousand to the end phase, and then you just kill them on your turn. So um, that is the one card combo there, which is you know super super awesome. But now let's take it back to the very beginning where we don't get raid raptor locked and see what we can do. All right, guys. So for the second one, we're gonna do the same combo, but instead of getting raid raptor locked, we're gonna not be locked, just in case you wanna do other stuff. But tribute lanius, tribute lanius effects said mimicry, mimicry banish, and you can get dark lock. That's totally fine because we mainly just play darks in extra deck. But we get strangle lanius here, and the reason we do that is because we can still special summon itself. We're not gonna be able to use a graveyard effect, but that's whatever. Overlay. So a lot of this is gonna be very similar, right? Go raiders knight, detach, go into brave strix, go into brave strix, brave strix, detach. Get over here. Get the rank up spell. There it is. Get magic skip force. Use the effect of magic skip force. Target the brave strix. Go into arsenal falcon here. So arsenal falcon detach. And you're actually going to summon out another strangolinius. And the reason for that is because it's the main extender from hand. But now because you still have an XYZ with a dark XYZ material. You can now use strangolinius effect to revive a level 4 raid raptor. So let's revive tribute lanius this time. Still go ahead and link off into your Y Strix. Y Strix chain link one, Arsenal chain link two. Ultimate Falcon, Ooh, almost dropped everything. Y Strix will summon from the deck. Get your Raider's Wing. Mandatory effect of Y Strix is Arsenal triggered. Go ahead and set up your rank up spell for the follow up. There we are, Rising Rebellion. An overlay and do four tricks now so if you know they have no cards that are able to activate like if they're if they don't have an imperm or a veil or anything at this point in time and you feel pretty confident about it feel free to detach this to get a second body but other than that if not keep the raiders wing that way you make sure the search is live but we can go ahead let's say they don't have it right we can detach this and we're gonna add to our hand the singing ladies right like okay like why would you do that no, because we control xyz monsters being special summon singing ladies for free raiders wing and grave detach the last material off four strix summon overlay these two now go into your second four strix or if you'd like you can go into the old swarm nightmare we see like that works out too that's totally fine but yeah, either one is completely fine. So if we're gonna do the same combo where you still get the satellite cannon on your opponent's turn, do that. But for this sake, let's do it this way. And you can even swarm nightmare now. So you're still pretty set up. You still have stuff in the graveyard, follow up there, and you still have a towers, they take a thousand, book of moon. Um, yeah, so you pass your opponent, they do stuff during their main phase or battle phase. Go rise up, rank up rebellion, go here. And you blow up the field. But guys, that is the combo tutorial there. There's two. So one that locks you in the Raid Raptors that gets you Satellite Cannon and two towers. Or the one that gets you two towers and Evil Swarm Nightmare. So you can Book of Moon their stuff. But, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.